You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have at least a familiar voice <laughs> to local Brockton area listeners. Uh, John Drzinskis, who's been hosting some radio shows. John, nice to see you. Yeah, glad to be here. Thank you for having me. John, you got an exciting event coming up on March 4th, which is this upcoming Saturday, um, Lithuanian Heritage Day. And if you think Brockton, you think Lithuanian, because for the longest time, Brockton had one of the highest concentrations of Lithuanians in, I guess, the country. Right. The, uh, the enclave of Brockton called The Village uh, was primarily uh, Lithuanian and Polish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And the heart of that village at one point was the church that was located in, in the village. The St. Casimir's. St. Casimir's. But it yeah. shifted over the years with changing demographics and everything. And right now, most of the Lithuanian community that's in the local Brockton area is meeting over at St. Michael's Church in Avon. That's correct. When our church closed back in 2008, St. Casimir's Church closed in 2008, the majority of the parishioners, uh, of course, were looking for a new place to worship. And um, about 80% of us, after several uh, parish meetings and parish council meetings, decided to go over to St. Michael's in Avon, um, a smaller parish that's similar to, to in size to St. Casimir's and a very welcoming um, pastor at that time, Father Lou Palmieri, and uh, some great friendly people. So that's where we're at, and uh, we really found a home there. And Avon's a hop, skip, and a jump away from Ward 6. Literally. Literally, it's, it's, it abuts Ward 6. So know. tell us about this event. There, there's going to be a mass, but then there's going to also be a lot of um, history, traditions, dinner, music, you name it. Tell us about it. Right. Well, as you said, uh, for those wanting to attend mass, there will be a mass at 4 p.m. Uh, it'll be a celebrated mass. Uh, we expect to have... Uh, uh, a couple of deacons and about five priests on the altar. Um, there'll be a uh, procession before the Mass. Uh, there'll be um, some of the ladies will be dressed in traditional Lithuanian costumes. Uh, the Knights of, uh, Knights of Columbus will be uh, having an honor guard there. Uh, we do local community events. And uh, after Mass, immediately after Mass, there will be um, dinner and a cultural presentation in the church hall. Now, the cultural presentation this year, we try to mix it up every year. Cultural presentation this year will be um, more entertainment than it is culture. Uh, we have a uh, very renowned um, um, instrumentalist uh, named Simona coming to play uh, what's called the Conklis. Now, the Conklis, the best way to describe the Conklis is probably something similar to a dulcimer um, a very old-fashioned instrument, very diff uh, from what I understand, I'm not a musician, but from what I understand, it's very difficult to play. Um, they're going to have um, uh, that performance immediately, immediately after the dinner. Uh, I'm sorry, immediately after the mass, before the dinner. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah. the dinner itself, if I remember right from last year, it's traditional Lithuanian food. It's traditional Lithuanian food, but we also have an American food menu, too. A lot okay. of people uh, either don't want to try our food or for dietary reasons cannot have our food. Uh, there's a lot of pork involved. There's a lot of sodium involved with our food. So, um, you know, for, for whatever reason, uh, if people choose to have the American menu, uh, we have an American menu. We also have a very... Good chef, Anthony Grine, that has been doing this now for uh, as long as we've had the event there at St. Michael's, and uh, he's got nothing but rave re reviews for both his American and Lithuanian food. And the thing I remember the most about it, besides, besides the food, of course, <laughs> um, is the families. Yes. The tradition, yes. Um, all ages from senior citizens all the way down to infants and toddlers and you know, it, people bring their family. It's a family event. Absolutely. And the Lithuanians from outside the area, the ones that perhaps have lived in the, the Brockton area at one time and have moved away, come back specifically for this event. Mm -hmm. It's been a sellout in the past, and it's coming close to being a sellout this year also. Now, let me ask you, it must be a lot better these days uh, to be Lithuanian, but uh, Lithuania being a free country. It was under domination and control of the Soviet Union for years and years. Absolutely. I remember going to high school with Marite Bisenkauskas, who always used to tell us about the, the, the history. You know, right. all over the world there's oppression, but not anymore. Yep. 
Uh, actually, our um, the Lithuanian Independence Day, we, it's, it's a little, uh, little bit unique because we actually have two Independence Days. Okay. The first one is February 16th, uh, 1918 or 1917. I'm sorry about my history, okay? Yeah. But uh, that was when uh, Lithuania first broke away from Tsarist Russia. Mm -hmm. And uh, it remained an independent country between the two world wars, World War I and World War II. And then uh, as part of the um, non-aggression pact between Stalin and Hitler um, in 1930, uh, 1940, uh, it became part of the Soviet Union, mm -hmm. unfortunately, and stayed part of the Soviet Union for 50 years up to until 1990, uh, March 11th. And um, the Lithuanians are very proud of the fact that they were the first Soviet satellite state to declare independence. Mm -hmm. So. Well, so you're keeping the traditions alive, you got the food, you got the music. I'm looking forward to the music because a, a, a different instrument, okay? It's They're a different instrument. It, the, the best way to describe it, I think, is, um, is a combination of, the, of a harp and maybe, uh, maybe chimes. Uh, it, 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 it's, it sounds lovely, actually. But you gotta go there to, to see it. It's really important right. to go there and experience live. There's nothing like live music. And the camaraderie, I think you have like raffles and different things over We're there. We're going to have raffles. We have some uh, homemade um, homemade goods made. Uh, uh, we have, we're raffling off an Afghan. We're raffling off several uh, bottles of liquor. Uh, there'll be uh, other raffle prizes there. So there'll be an opportunity to uh, come home with a nice prize. Now, when you talk about the Knights, you're talking about Knights of Lithuania, right? Right, Correct? Knights, and, Knights, Knights of, of Columbus too, or, or well, I'm, there's a difference. Uh, there, there's, uh, there is a difference. Uh, I'm a member of both groups. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the difference between uh, the two is that uh, the Knights of Columbus is uh, the biggest Catholic fraternal organization in the world. Uh, you have to be male to join. You have to be at least 18 years of age. Uh, the, the major difference uh, is, uh, for the Knights of Lithuania is that you, either yourself or your spouse has to be Lithuanian. Mm -hmm. uh, same age requirements, 18, okay, but you have, to be, uh, you have to have Lithuanian somewhere in the bloodline. So, John, you've got to have a lot of hats in this one. You, you're, <laughs> you're Knights of Columbus, Knights of Lithuania too, Yes. and uh, you've been part of the church the whole time you've lived here. Pretty so, much, pretty um, much, yep. Uh, I would think you're looking forward to it. Tell them, we got like 30 seconds or less, tell the audience why they should come and experience it. Okay, uh, this is something that uh, mostly non-Lithuanians uh, are supporting, so uh, I, I encourage everyone to, uh, to come on Saturday, March 4th, 2017, this coming Saturday. It's at St. Michael's Church, which is, which is located at 87 North Main Street in Avon. It's right on Route 28, very simple to get from Brockton. Just stay on Main Street, and the church is right there, diagonally across from the police station in Avon Square. Uh, we will have dinner, American and Lithuanian food, after the 4 o'clock Mass. Tickets um, will be on sale at the door. They're $15 for adults, $5 for children up to age 10. And um, we're asking that people, uh, because seating is very limited, we're asking that people make reservations by contacting me. My contact information uh, is John Drazinskis. Uh, my phone number is 508-586-8599, or my email is johnd27 at verizon.net. Well, John, we're out of time. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. We look forward to it. Glad Thank to help you promote it. And Thank you for having me. We might me. even give you some sights and sounds, but you've got to be there. Okay. Okay? Great. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.